Hey Virgo, this is Dana with Taurus Star Tarot and we are about to do a reading for your sign today. That being said, of course, this isn't a personal reading for you. This is a reading, a general reading for the sun sign of Virgo. You know, I want to read something to you by somebody, by somebody named Stacy Martin. There's going to be things that resonate with you that no one else will understand. When it settles in your bones like it's home, welcome it. You will believe in things that others will think is wrong, but figuring out who you are and what you have faith in is a personal journey. You mustn't allow anyone to tarnish or plant doubt in the things that bring peace to your spirit. Isn't that beautiful? And that's how I feel about, you know, readings resonating. If this resonates with you, awesome. Pieces of it might resonate with you, awesome. If it doesn't resonate with you, leave it. Just leave it and walk away and go find it someplace else because this is a reading for the sun sign of Virgo today. And, and if it resonates, that means the cards are talking directly to you today. And if it doesn't, it's just not your reading, right? It's important to cross watch your other signs because your sun sign, Virgo, is how you receive information from the world. Your moon sign is how you feel. It's how you process that information. And your ascending sign is how you spit that information back out into the world. So it's important to know at least those three signs in your astrological chart. There's a link in the box below. You can download a chart and it'll be awesome. So cross-watch those other signs. If this resonates, that's awesome. But cross-watch those other signs too because in general free readings, it will give you a much larger, much more comprehensive picture of what's happening in your life and in the life of those that you're cross-watching for. Okay, um, I want to just put a shout out to everybody who has come to me for personal readings. I am so humbled. I am so humbled that you trust me to read for your personal life. I just can't even express my gratitude to you for trusting me the way that you do. Um, that being said, you know, if you want a personal reading just for you, just like this, just for your situation, you can hit me up at TaurusStarTarot.com and 40 bucks will hook you up. 45 minutes minimum one-on-one -on -one time with me and the cards. You can choose your day, choose your time. I will show up and the cards will show out, okay? All right, well, let's just get started uh, straight away with this reading, okay? You come into this reading as the Six of Pentacles. You are contemplating who or what it is that you give and receive and share with in your life. Okay, could be person, place, or thing, but you are seriously contemplating who it is that you give and receive with, who it is that you are committed to, who or what it is in your life that you are committed to with the hair event. Seven of Cups comes in and says that you have a little bit of confusion. You have some options. You have choices about the Three of Pentacles, who it is that you have teamwork and collaboration with, who it is that you are going to build your life with. The Ace of Cups reiterates that, right? This whole thing is you having options and some confusion about who it is that you're going to experience teamwork and collaboration, who it is you're going to give or what it is that you're going to give and receive with in your life. The Ace of Cups comes in and reiterates that this is, this is, um, the, the, you're having overwhelming emotions, but I don't mean like overwhelming, like seized up and can't move, right? I just mean this whole little process right here is just very emotional for you, right? It's very emotional for you. So we come down here to the Queen of Pentacles because this is who you want to be, right? This is what all of this is about, the giving and the receiving and the, the teamwork and the collaboration and the commitment. It's all about your personal security. The Queen of Pentacles is um, our home, right? It's our home, it's our hearth, it's our bread basket. She's the queen of security, right? So where you are in the top row right there is trying to figure, to figure out who it is that you want to be in your life or what it is that you want to be in your life that is going to give you the feeling of um, home and security, right? Queen of Swords comes in and says that you have made a decision. 
you've made a decision and you are about to execute that decision because you have contemplated and reevaluated your entire life. This princess of swords comes in and says you're about to communicate this to somebody and this communication is going to cause swift change in your life. Action, movement, and swift change in your life. What are you changing? What what is what is this all about? This is about some kind of toxic relationship, okay? Now the devil card gets a bad rep. Everybody sees it and they're like, oh my god, toxic. But you know, I want to cut the devil card some slack for a second. The devil card is really about human nature. The devil card is about attachments, restrictions, addictions, sexuality, and our shadow self, right? Those, those, those thoughts in our head that we would never share with somebody else, okay? So this card is about human nature. What the negative connotation of this card is, is toxicity, right? Any kind of restriction, any kind of unhealthy attachment, addiction, unhealthy sexuality, right? Um, is, and who am I to judge sexuality, right? But, you know, there's some people do some pretty weird ass things out there. And some of it, I'm afraid to say, is not real healthy. So, this devil card is representing in this reading that you are very quickly, and notice how these wands are going away from the devil, right? They're going away from the devil. If they were, if this card manifested over here, it would be you're going towards the devil, but you are taking swift change, swift action in your life to get away from some type of unhealthy restriction or attachment, maybe an addiction of some sort, right? Because we have you up here contemplating who it is that you're going to be committed to or what it is you're going to be committed to and share your life with. This over here says that you want to be the Queen of Pentacles, right? You want a sense of security and grounding and, and accomplishment in your life. Eight of Wands says you are swiftly moving away from any kind of toxic attachment that you have going on right now, Virgo. The Hermit card comes in and says that you're given a good, long, hard think to the stability of your life with the Four of Wands, to the foundation by which you are building yourself. You're giving a good, long, hard think to unified partnerships and or love relationships in your life, okay? You're giving a good, long, hard think about it because you're moving. You're moving out. You're moving away from all of this, and you're really doing some soul searching and some introspection about who and what it is that you want to be in your future. Justice card comes in and says truth, cause and effect, fairness, law, right? So this is directly related to this decision right there by the Queen of Swords. Whatever this decision is right here is going to bring you justice in your life. You are justified in making these moves, right? So you're justified in making these moves because these moves right here, this, this rapid transit, this rapid movement away from whatever this devil energy is for you, is going to put you on a new journey. It's going to start a new beginning in your life and put you on the track of a new journey. The Princess of Wands comes in and says that it fires you up. Fires you up. She's the queen of passion. Hello, she's the queen of passion. So this new journey and this new beginning that you're about to embark upon because you have released yourself from this toxic attachment right here um, is going to be filled with with passion and excitement for you. This Queen of Wands is determined. She's a determined woman. What is she determined? She's determined to bring creative new beginnings into her life. Synchronicity. She's, cre she's determined to bring, to manifest, to draw unto herself new beginnings. Creative new beginnings that fulfill her emotionally. Prince of Pentacles comes in and says that you've surveyed the situation. 
you've surveyed the situation. His job, you know, his job is to, is to slowly walk the perimeter of the kingdom, to check on the fields, to check on the workers, to make sure everybody has the tools and resources that they need. He's making a list as he goes, right? He's making a list and his job is to take that list and, and implement it. So this card tells me that you are surveying the kingdom of your life. You're surveying yourself, you're surveying your life, and you are making a list, checking it twice, crossing your T's and dotting your I's because you are seriously moving away from this toxic energy. And what comes next is the Empress. This, my friend, is um, the fertile ground by which to procure abundance, okay? This card is about fertility, abundance, new beginnings, birth, rebirth. It's about, it's about abundance, right? Abundance. So you are planning your life because you want abundance, not restriction. You want abundance in your life, not restriction. The King of Wands comes in and says that uh, you are, are, are really, really determined to find this, this success in your life, this abundance in your life, right? This is a, this is a guy who, who, he just knows, right? He's super cocky. If you can see him, I don't know if you can see him or not, but if you can see him, He's just, you know, I mean, he knows. He's cocky. He's got his hand on his chin. He's contemplating what his next move is going to be, right? What is his next move going to be? Because he's a mover. He's a mover and a shaker. He doesn't sit still. He's got a lot going on, right? He's a very engaged and active king. He's the king of our passion, right? So on top of this card of a Abundance, this major arcana of abundance, the card of Taurus, by the way. Let me just point out, you have Taurus, Taurus, Capricorn. Taurus, Taurus, Capricorn. Taurus again. You have Taurus three times in this reading. I don't know if that means something to you or not, okay? You can put it in the basket of Earth energy, but this is the card of Taurus. This is the card of Taurus, and that Queen of Pentacles is the card of Taurus, okay? So take it for what it's worth. I don't know if it means anything to you or not, but with this abundance right here, with this abundance and success and determination on top of it, look out, man. Look out. Virgo's on the loose, and Virgo is making moves. Virgo is making moves. Sit down with your high priestess for a minute because you have some residual baggage about this devil energy that you need to take care of real quick. Right? So you want to make moves. You're, you're making moves. You're on the loose. You're ready to go. You're moving away from this toxic energy. Moving away from this toxic energy. Contemplating the foundation of your life. Contemplating love and relationships. Right? Um, about to take a new journey. Justice, truth, fairness, cause, and effect is being applied to this situation. Getting ready to take a new journey, have a new beginning, determination, passion, queen of cups. It's something that fulfills you emotionally. This is a messenger of creative new beginnings in your life. Prince of Pentacles says you're planning planning, crossing the T's, dotting the I's, making a list, right, of the things that you have to do in order to obtain the abundance that you are looking for, right? In order to do the opposite of that devil card right there. King of Wands comes in and he is, he, he is determined, you, Virgo, are determined, right? You're on the loose, so you're sitting down with your high priestess, right? And you're just reevaluating everything because you have some baggage, some loose ends that you need to tie up, right? Some loose ends. Subconscious, intuition, just, just sitting down with, with, with the divine for a minute. What you're talking about with the divine, with your sit down with the high priestess, is the seven of swords. You're, you're talking about, you're working out pain from your past, from this, okay? You're working out pain and and you are coming to the conclusion that you are going to break free of the mental challenges, the mental challenges that you have. You're gonna break free from them. Strength comes in and says courage 
and and strength yes but strength particularly with this high priestess right here talks about trust trusting yourself trusting your intuition trusting that you're on the right path right because these guys right here they're they're you know she's petting him like a house cat and he's rubbing up on her like a house cat there is absolute trust in this relationship and the root of this card is to trust yourself and trust the path that you're on eight of pentacles comes in and says that this whole conversation over here with the high priestess is about breaking free of conflict shady behavior just issues in your past with this devil energy you're breaking free of, of the issues you're being guided to trust yourself right you're being guided to trust yourself because you are walking away you're walking away from the six of cups you're walking away from everything that's familiar to you right when we're in a job situation career situation a love situation a marriage that's familiar right we go there every day we do the same things every day it's familiar well this card says that you are walking away from everything that's familiar to you because either you were left out in the cold or you are leaving somebody out in the cold you're done with it you're you're leaving somebody out in the cold the nine of swords says you're real caught up in your head about it and you are chalking this all up to a painful lesson in your life this devil energy right here was a very painful lesson in your life death comes in and says there is an ending a change a transformation about to take place a transformation about to take place in your life and there is a regretful but necessary transition that is about to transform your entire life this transition is into the eight of Pentacles this transition is into something that is um, the eight of Pentacles is about um, learning um, um, engagement mastering skills right um, um, working on it so you're transitioning into y'all hear that train hold on let's let it go by for a second it's like literally outside my window And it goes by at any given time, all hours of the day and night. Um, I'm at my brother's house in the polar vortex in Michigan. And um, this is my, my little room that I'm staying in. And it's literally like outside my window. But anyway, okay. So you're transitioning into a state of mind to where you're ready to engage. Um, it could be that you're ready to engage again with life right maybe you were suffocated with this devil energy maybe you're ready to engage in life again maybe you're ready to engage with a new business opportunity maybe you're ready to go back to school maybe you're going to gain mastery of some of the skill sets that you have whatever you're doing you are you are are putting in some effort to create something new in your life the ace of pentacles comes in and says that this is a brand this is so loud i'm so sorry virgo okay so the eight of pentacles the ace of pentacles says that you are manifesting a brand new opportunity in your life this can be manifesting a brand new opportunity or this can be manifesting a brand new financial opportunity right either way it makes you feel super alive super alive super excited ready to just charge forward with passion and energy into this new life that you've created for yourself okay I want to touch on manifesting aces aces are gifts from the universe only given to us when we have prepared the soil when we have prepared the soil in order to procure this new beginning right aces are number one ones mean new beginnings right so this ace of pentacles is being gifted to you from the heavens 
is only being given to you because you've done the work to prepare the soil in order to plant this seedling of prosperity to take care of it and procure it and grow it into something. How have you prepared the soil? You walked out of some kind of a toxic relationship. Some kind of a toxic relationship. Oh, look, I want to point out real quick. Look, commitment, toxic, transition. Ha, huh, that's kind of cool. Okay, so new beginning, new opportunity given to you because you have made ready, right? You have made ready. Seven of Wands comes in, says you're feeling a little guarded though. You're feeling a little guarded. You're feeling a little guarded about the entire situation right here. The moon card comes in and reiterates that. You know when there's a full moon and you look in the backyard and you're squinting because, you know, that's the tree that's been out there your whole life, right? But there's something new. There's something different. What is that by that tree? What? What? Is there somebody in my backyard, right? Squinting through the window, trying to figure out what that is, and then you realize it's just a shadow from a limb on a tree. That's what you're doing with this moon card. You are squinting through the window of life trying to see clearly what exactly is going on, right? Because this new opportunity that you have right here um, is, is, is yeah, I don't know, it's got you feeling, it's got you feeling just a little on guard for some reason. And there's you trying to figure it out. Two of Swords comes in and says you have indecision. You have indecision about this new opportunity. Let's see what else we have here. Okay, you have indecision about this new opportunity with the Prince of Cups. The Prince of Cups is a metaphorical knight in shining armor, right? So this new opportunity is presenting itself as your knight in shining armor. Could it be love? Yeah. Could it be work, business, family, anything else? Yes. It's presenting as a knight in shining armor for you, right? With the lover's card on top of it, this knight in shining armor that is this opportunity has to do with choices, relationships, could have to do with love relationships in our life. But I'm, I'm hoping that if you're bailing from some kind of a commitment up here, that you're not immediately jumping into another relationship because we need time to heal. We need time to grow. But if you are, what else? No judgment here. I mean, I'm just worried about you. You know, I don't care what you do. Do whatever makes you happy as long as it doesn't hurt me. But I am worried that if you jump from a committed relationship up here, especially a toxic relationship, and then jump right back into a love relationship, that you're not going to have time to heal and you're going to carry baggage into a new relationship. So word, think about that for a minute. So... This, this opportunity that is presenting as a knight in shining armor has you a little, um, a little unsure about how to proceed. This knight in shining armor is, is a relationship. This is a card about lovers. Yes, love relationships. It's the card of Gemini. May mean something, may not. Um, it's also a card about values alignment, harmony, and choices in our life, right? The five of swords comes in. This is conflict. You're, you're, you're internally conflicted about this opportunity. Maybe it's because um, it's happening quickly. Maybe it's because all you've known is conflict. Maybe it's because you're just coming out of all of this right here and then boom, there's this opportunity and you're just not quite ready for it yet, right? Could be a lot of different things, but there's conflict in regards to choices and values alignment and harmony in your life. And it could very well be a person or an entity coming into your life outside of a love relationship. Queen of Cups comes in. Queen of Cups comes in and says that, that as you process this, you are going to come out on the other side knowing that you know that you know what you know. You're going to have emotional control, balance, stability, calm, cool, collected, right? And she, this Queen of Cups right here, she has a ton of intuition. She is super psychic. She's a water sign, right? 
So she knows that she knows that she knows that this opportunity with the Six of Wands is something good. It's something good for her, for you, for the Queen, right? She, she knows. The Alchemist, which is the Magician, he comes in and he says that, um, that, that you have been manifesting this. You've been manifesting this Ace of Pentacles right here, probably since even before up here, right? You've been manifesting it. And, and now that it's in your face, you're like, whoa, what do I do with it, right? I want to touch on manifesting real quick because manifesting is, you know, I want to point out, okay? Everybody thinks manifesting is just thinking about it. But look at this card. This is the alchemist, which is the magician, right? I hope you can see that because there is a glare. Anyway, the alchemist, he has all of the tools of the elements of the tarot on his table. He manifests with his thoughts, yes, with the sword. He absolutely manifests with his, with his thoughts. But he manifests with the pentacles as well. What's he doing with those pentacles? He's putting in the legwork. He's going out. He's meeting people. He's shaking hands. He's exploring opportunities. He's turning over rocks. He is physically participating in the manifestation. The cups, he's manifesting with his heart and his soul and his feelings, right? He's pulling it unto himself. With the wand, he's exploring what it is that, that creates passion and drive and inspiration in his heart. Okay, so manifesting isn't just sitting in a corner thinking about it. Manifesting is actually fucking doing it, okay? Doing it. Manifesting. What are you manifesting? You're manifesting your future, my friend. You're manifesting your future. You're waiting for these ships to come in. You've been standing there and planning the whole time while you're waiting for these ships to come in. You are manifesting your future, which is golden with the Ten of Pentacles. This Ace of Pentacles right here has the potential, should you procure it properly, to grow 10, the number of completion, right? This Ace of Pentacles has the potential to turn into the Ten of Pentacles. And this Ten of Pentacles turns into the star. Hope, faith, purpose, and renewal in your life. In a life that was attached to some kind of toxic restriction in your life. And you've made the decision to put it out and put it behind you. And your reward, your justice is hope, faith, purpose, and renewal in your life. Virgo, that is your reading. I most certainly hope that it helped to give you some understanding, some confirmation, some clarity, and maybe a heads up as well. I hope that it inspired you and I hope that it motivates you to be everything that you can be, to be the best that you possibly can be. If you'd like a reading just for you, just for your situation, 40 bucks will hook you up at TaurusStarTarot.com. Namaste, my friends.